My friend, if you don't have righteousness for God, it's, it, everything is worthless ultimately. It's, it's all a matter of nothingness for people. My friend, think about this for a second. The Bible even shows us in, in, in the Bible where it says that things will be thrown, they'll be burned up. All the things that are not done in the name of the God for the glory of God will be burned up. Our work, our lives, everything that we earn will be burned up if it's not for Jesus Christ. My friend, what must you do to be saved? You must repent and put your faith and trust in Jesus to be saved. You must repent and put your faith and trust in Jesus to be saved alone. Jesus is the only name under heaven and earth by which any of us must be saved. Think about that. That's very important. There's only one name under heaven and earth by which we must be saved, and that's the name of Jesus. If you disagree with that, you're on your way to hell. You may disagree with me and not like what I say, but that's what Jesus said. Your argument is with Jesus and not with me. So do you want to argue with Jesus? Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and nobody comes to the Father except through me. So if Jesus is not your Savior, you're heading towards disaster. And it's a disaster that you'll never recover from because God is so just that he will punish sin forever. That's how serious he is about sin. Think about that for a second. He is so serious about sin that he'll punish it forever. Not for a couple of weeks or a couple of years or a couple of months or whatever. He punishes it forever. That's how serious he is about it. That's why I don't want you to go there. That's why Jesus doesn't want you to go there. He wants you to repent and put your faith and trust in him and follow him. He wants you to follow him, not the ways of this world, not your friends, not your mommy, not your daddy. He wants you to follow him. He wants you to follow the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That's the only way that any of us can be saved because God is so pure and so holy that none of us can work our way into heaven. Other religions just say try harder. Just keep the commandments. Just go to Mecca. Just jump in this river. But guess what, man? The only way to get saved is through Jesus. You can only get saved through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only one that can save you and me from hell. And hell's a real place. Jesus talked about it very often. Actually, in the Bible, you can look this up for yourself, that Jesus talked more about hell than he did about heaven. He actually talks more about hell than he does about heaven in the Bible. You know why? Because most people go to hell because they don't repent and put their faith and trust in him. And it's, it's obvious by their works. You can tell a lot of people, they say, hey, I'm a Christian, but yet they fornicate. Or I'm a Christian and I, I've, I'm, a, I'm involved in a homosexual relationship. Or I'm a Christian and I get high every weekend. Or I'm a Christian and I beat my wife up. You can tell, you know them by their fruits. Fruits are a good indicator if you're a real believer. A lot of people say, hey, I'm a Christian, but I'm sleeping with my girlfriend every weekend. Or, I'm a Christian, but I'm getting drunk all the time. My friend, you'll know them by their fruits. Check yourself. The Bible gives us in the book of 1 John a whole list of stuff to look at ourselves by to make sure that we're not just said Christians, but real Christians, that we've had a real heart change, that our heart's been transformed by Jesus. Has your heart been transformed? Have you been born again? Do you have new desires? That's the amazing thing about God is he gives us new desires. He gives us new desires, things that we used to enjoy. He, we can say no to them now. He can give us the ability to say no to sin. Can you say no to sin now? I hope you can, my friends. I want you to. I don't want you to live in a life of sin. I want you to live a life of righteousness and holiness. And get this word that you don't find nowadays, peace. Peace. Jesus offers true and lasting peace. Not the peace that this world offers, but lasting peace. Can you? some of y'all need some peace in this world? I know I can. Can some of y'all use some peace in this world? That's right, Jesus came. He's called the Prince of Peace. He's called the Prince of Peace. Now, if you don't have peace with God, you're at war with God. And my friend, it's time to surrender. It's time to surrender to God, to Jesus. It's time to surrender. It's time to say, okay, you know what? I've been doing it my way. I've sinned against you and I deserve hell. And I want to repent and put my faith and trust in you. I want to repent and put my faith and trust in God who is the author of peace and gives me everlasting life and follow him. My friends, think about that. How much does a man have to love you 
to lay down his life for you. How much does a man have to love you to lay down his life for you? God demonstrated his love for us. Now, while we were sinners, he, he died for us. That's how amazing Jesus is. He laid down his life for us, guys. He laid down his life for all of us. For anybody that hears the sound of my voice, he laid down his life for us. That's the amazing thing about the gospel. He laid down his life for us. Even if you mock it, he still laid down his life, but you must repent. You must put your faith and trust in Jesus to be saved. Hey, yeah, he's in a hurry to go to hell, guys. Wait up for a second. Give him a second, man. Just give him a second. Be, pa be patient. Let Kyle talk to my friend over here, man. Give him a second, all right? He's just talking to a buddy. That's right. God laid down his life so that we can go free. Our sin, the things that we can't even tell our friends, the things that we've done wrong that we can't even share with our very friends, the things, those things, he's laid down his life to save us. He laid down his life to save us, my friends. That's how much he loves us. He wants to turn. What? No, what? 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 I mean, you say no and walk off. You don't defend yourself. Just walk off. No, nah, hey, man, God will set us free, brother. He set me free from pornography, lust, the desire for, for women beside my wife. He can change anybody, my friend. If You don't you don't believe him, though, do you? You can believe him, but you just got to be done. You say, God, save me. Yeah. Hey, here's something for you to read, my friend. Here's a little something, something for you. We love you, brother. All right, my friend, here comes your friend. Here comes your friend. He's coming to you. All right, God bless you, brother. Take care. Uh, what? That's right, my friends. Time is running out. God died for us, for sinners. That's the amazing thing about the gospel of Jesus is that he laid down his life. I remember walking into a football game years ago and I said I said, Hey man, I don't want I don't wanna I don't wanna I'm just gonna keep going to these football games, enjoying my life and having fun. And my friend I said, you know what? God wants something more from me, and I'm tired of living this half-life. My friend, when you get in line with what God's plan is for your life, my friend, you'll find out how amazing things are. This world tells you, hey, go to college, get a degree, get a lot of money, make, make, a, make a good family, my friend. But ultimately, man, boyfriends and girlfriends and careers and success, they don't satisfy you full-time, my friends. A lot of people, that's why they get divorces. The divorce rate in this country is over 50% right now because at one time people thought, oh, I love this person. They're going to make my life, they're going to make my life totally complete. But guess what happens? It doesn't. It doesn't make it totally complete. My friend, think about that for a second. So whatever you're putting your life in, half the people tried that before and it didn't work for them. I'm going to find me the hottest girl in Atlanta and she's going to make my life complete. That's a fly from the devil. What will make your life complete is serving the Lord, is serving Jesus Christ. But you've got to repent and put your faith and trust in Jesus to be saved. you got to repent and put your faith in Jesus to be saved, my friends. Hey, don't take your friend. You're not his friend, man. You're not his friend. You're not his friend, man. You're not his friend at all. My friend, you hate him. We were talking to him about Jesus, man. He hates God. I know.